All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call on Lam La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to you, Ankyam, out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Shalom to the elect, the 144,000. Okay, so um, this is going to be a quick lesson, you know, and it's going to be titled Another Day Down. You know, Another Day Down. You know, and that's basically, you know, this title is alluding to, you know, um, as the days, you know, get closer to the end, you know, we're closer to the kingdom than we were yesterday. You know, and, um, you know, we're living in the end times of this, you know, this Edomite, you know, eon, you know, as the, uh, the, uh, scripture, Matthew 24 and verse three. Okay. Uh, the apostles, uh, well, before they came apostles, the disciples at the time, the ex I was shy, they said, when is it going to be, you know, the end of the end of the world and, you know, the sign of thy coming, you know, and, um, when you go into that word, that word, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came up to him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of that coming and of the end of the world? OK, now I mean, going to that word world, you know, for the ones that don't know and that's new to this truth tuning in. Strong's G165. I own. I own. It says Ion or Eon, okay? And it says a period of time or an age, all right? So as the, the days grow, you know, older, as another day's down, you know, we're getting closer to the end of this Eon, this, this period of time, this age, okay? And this is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. And it says, and that knowing that, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, right? You know, because um, you still have a lot of our people that are, you know, in spiritual slumber, you know, that don't know that they're, that they're Israelites, that don't know that, you know, they have a savior, you know, that don't know that, you know, the end of this world is coming to a, a um, an, an end, you know? So, you know, so, uh, you know, the Wadi Habashma Shai for, you know, waking me up, you know, for waking the brothers up and, you know, you feel you few sincere sisters up, you know, because this is very serious. You know, we, you know, are fighting for salvation, you know, and ultimately, you know, if you're not, you know, um, of the elect, then ultimately you're through. So that's why we show our works by our faith. Excuse me, we show our faith by our works, you know. Serving how about Shmuel Shai, being charitable, doing lessons, whatever your whatever your particular lot is, you know we're doing that to the best of our ability, you know to show you how about Shmuel Shai that we want to be delivered, you know that's why it says in the book of uh first, let me get it real quick then I'll head back to this, I believe it's Second Peter. Second Peter one and verse ten it says, yep, it says Second Peter one and verse ten it says, uh, read for the rather brother. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Right. Now let's read that in the NLT. Okay. And it says, it says, so dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you are really are, to prove that you really are among those the most high has called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. Right. Work hard. You know, the scriptures say, you know, if you don't work, you don't eat, you know, so we are working hard spiritually, you know, you know, spiritually getting our hands dirty 
to show the Most High that we want to be amongst his chosen, amongst his elect. We, you know, we want to be of the elect. OK, so let's head back to Romans um, 13 and verse 11. OK, and it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep right now is the time, you know, now is the time, man. Because we are, we are at the end of the end. We, we are in the last days of the last days of Esau, Edom, you know. And it says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Right, man. This, listen, this place is done. Okay. Babylon's done. You know, and the Lord shown us great signs in the earth and the heavens, you know, to, 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 to let us know that, hey, I'm about to return, you know. Now, of course, like the scriptures say, no man knows the hour or day, but we know that Yahweh Shai is coming. We know that Yahweh Shai is about to turn up very soon. Okay, you have the uh, the, the great American eclipse, you know, and it's called that actually. And that's going to happen on April 8th, you know. And where I live, and I'm pretty sure where you brothers, you know, live at, and a few sisters, you know, where y'all live, I'm pretty sure this eclipse is being promoted too, you know. Because if it's being promoted where we live, you know, I heard a small Rochester, you know, which, you know, is not, you know, it's the, the city may be small, but you have, you know, suburb, uh, suburban areas around it. Right. But where, where we live is being promoted in grocery stores It's being promoted in parks, with you know, with banners, you know. So this is a, this, so this is a great sign. You know, this is a very great sign. I've never seen. A uh, solar eclipse being promoted like like this like this particular one, you know this one's very spiritual. You know, hey man, just know that we in the end, you know. And actually, to prove that, let's get that in the book of uh, Acts. Okay, this is the book of Acts, chapter two. Okay, and um. I'll get to the point. Acts chapter 2. Actually, you can start up at verse... Uh, I'm going to start at 16. Just to get, you know, the context, right? Now, this is the... Uh, this is the uh, Apostle Peter speaking right here. Okay? Acts 2 and verse 16, it says, But this is that which was spoken by the by the prophet Joel. Right now, right here, um, the Apostle Paul is, is reiterating the words of the prophet Joel. Okay? Which he... You know, he's, he's, I'm going to read it. Okay. And it says, verse 17, and it shall come to pass in the last day, said the most high, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Right. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Meaning what? That the Lord, okay, that the Lord can, you know, make anybody have a vision of, of the end of, you know, as you know, of, of prophetic times, you know, that the Lord had, um, who was it? I believe it was either Balaam, if I'm not mistaken, either Balaam that had the uh, vision of, you know, the, um, you know, of the, of the Israelites being in power, you know, so, but guess what? He was a heathen, but the Lord still gave him, you know, the Lord put him in a trance and he, you know, he gave him a vision of, you know, of, of the, of the things to come for the nation of Israel. Right. So the Lord can do that. You know, today's time, the Lord can put a, can put a, a, a can uh, show a vision, you know, to a child that's sleeping, you know, to a, you know, an, uh, an uh, adult, you know, whether they be an Israelite or not. It says the Lord will pour his spirit upon all flesh. See, and it says, and it says, and your daughter shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Right. And there's countless videos of people talking about, you know, the vision they had and putting it up and putting it on YouTube, you know, talking about the same coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, um, FEMA camp, a FEMA, a FEMA, um, what's it called? A martial law, you know, the MOTB, you know, before I was in the truth, I, you know, I've seen countless videos of people talking about, you know, uh, the MOTB, you know, I'm not sure if they're still up, still up on YouTube because, you know, certain videos he, he saw, he takes down, you know, he cracks down on certain videos, you know, but before when YouTube was basically, you know, it was basically, you know, free roam, you could put anything on YouTube, you know, I've seen that. You know, so now being in the truth, you know, you know, now realizing that, oh, that's why people were talking about, you know, the end times and prophetic events, because the Lord put his put his spirit upon 
all flesh, right? Verse 18, it says, and on my servants and on my handmaids will I pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy, right? And it says, verse 19, and I will shew wonders in heaven above and signs of the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai come, right? So the point was right there. Verse 20 says, the sun shall be turned to darkness. What's that? A solar eclipse, you know, a solar eclipse. And it says in the, in the moon to blood. And what's that? A blood moon, right? And it says before the great and notable day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai come. So all these signs are going to be shown unto us by Yahweh Shem Shai before Yahweh Shai actually returns. You know, that's why if you read Matthew 24, you know, the, the Yahweh Shai gave his men, Yahweh Shai gave his men signs, you know, Yahweh Shai gave his men signs and told them the things, you know, to, to look out for, you know, uh, before, he, before he returns. Okay. But guess what? Now we're seeing these signs now in, in today's time. All right. We're seeing these signs now in today's time. Okay. Because, you know, uh, even though the Lord told the at, at the time disciples, you know, the signs at that time, you know, the Lord told them in the book of Acts, he was like, you know, he, he said, uh, because they asked me, he said, now is it time to restore the kingdom of Israel? In the book of Acts, you know, he, he, they actually have a shy at that because they thought when the once he, you know, you know, rose from the dead, they thought that it was time for them to rule again. Right. But how I said, no, it's not, it's not known unto you, you know, uh, um, you know, to know when. Let me just get it real quick. Let me get it real quick. <laughs> okay. Now, Salakia, you, you know, I know I'm all over the place, but Lord's word is edifying to the Lord's sheep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, yep. This is uh, Acts 1 and verse um, 6. It says, when they therefore were coming together, they asked him, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put down on his excuse me, which the Father hath, hath put in his own power, but he shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and he shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now, the uttermost part is talking about the farthest side of the earth, okay, meaning the other side, you know, because at this particular time in this account, we, we were on the uh, on the uh, the east, okay, the eastern hemisphere of, you know, um, of the earth. But now the the the, uh, the uh, farther side is talking about what? It's talking about the, the west hemisphere, the west, the western hemisphere of, uh, of the earth, okay, meaning what? Babylon over here in America, okay? And um, let's see. I think that was it right there. Right. So the uttermost it means you know the the um, it means the uh, basically the uh, the furthest side of the earth or the, the greatest. You know. So the, the so the, so the point is Yahweh Shai gave us gave um, us signs early on. That's why, you know, now, that's why, you know, now we are seeing these signs, you know, because even though that was said 2000 years ago, that, that, that's happening, you know, today. Okay. So Yahweh Shai, you know, war you know, uh, uh, warned us and told us about the signs beforehand, you see? So, so like, so like this lesson is titled another day down, you know, we're just waiting for, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, these signs to increase because even though we hey, we are seeing them, you know, we, we seen them, but guess what? They're going to increase very, very soon, you know, you know, and the signs of what the pestilence, you know, there's pestilence everywhere, you know, you have wars and rumors of wars, you know, every day, every day is like an article of, you know, something pertaining to World War Three, you know, Russia, North Korea, you know, there's always a article every day talking about, you know, war or World War Three, you know. Uh, earthquakes in various places, you know, famines, and that's going to get worse to the point where people are going to be committing cannibalism, you know, and that's going to be during Jacob's trouble. That's going to be when all hell breaks loose, 
Okay, so Babylon is just is just, you know, you know uh, how they say an accident waiting to happen. You know, Babylon is days is, is days are numbered. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the book of Luke, chapter twenty one, and verse twenty eight, and it says, "I'll start at yeah twenty eight. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass." Then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nigh. Right. What things? You know, the signs, the prophecies. Right. You know, look up because it's, because it's, because your salvation draw nigh. Right. Another day down, you know, another day down. Just like the uh, the brother Gabar, he always you, the brother Gabar and I came. He always uh, said um, another day down is close. Damn, how do you say it? another day down? Is one step close to the kingdom or something like that. That's what that brother always used to say when I first came in, you know, and it's right because another day down is is one day close to the kingdom, man. It's, it's, it, it's, it's a true statement, you know, because we know that we're in captivity. So we're yearning, you know, we're um, we're hasting and the return of Yahushua because we want to see this place go. We want to see, you know, things happen. We, we, we want to see a, a, a privacy manifest. You see, we, we want to see how it shall return, you know, and get, and get you know, uh, um, his respect, man. You know, because nobody here respects Yahweh by small shot, but his men, but the elect, you know, but the believers, you know. But soon people are going to realize that, hey, Yahweh by small shot is a God, you know, worthy of his praise, man. You know, soon the whole earth is going to be praising Yahweh by small shot. Okay. This place right now, the, the people praise Satan, people praise Esau, Edom, people praise themselves. But soon that's going to be, you know, no more to be. OK, the world's going to be turned right side up because right now we're living in the wicked world. But soon we're, we're, uh, we're waiting on Yahweh Shai to bring righteousness back in the earth. You see, that's why that's why one of Yahweh, uh, that's why one of Yahweh Shai's titles is what? The Prince's Peace, you see. Yahweh Shai is about to come back to bring peace back in the earth. Because right now, you know, harmony is out the earth. You know, it says that uh, um, Rev 6 and 4 says that, you know, Esau, Edom being the red horse, he took peace from the earth. He took harmony from the earth. You know, everybody here is mourning their anxiety, you know, stressed out. You know, people here are committing suicide. That's because of, that, that of, you know, the, the, the uh, conditions of the earth because of Esau, Edom. But soon, that's not going to, listen, man, the kingdom is going to be all righteousness is going to be perfect, man. People, people are going to be rejoicing, you know, especially us, the Israelites, okay? It, it says, Proverbs, 20, uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, it says, when, when the wicked are in authority, it says the people mourn, but when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, right? Now, let's read it one more time. Luke 21 and verse um, 20, 28, and it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. Right, man, our deliverance, you know, our redemption draw of nigh, you know, you know, we are, you know, uh, um, hasting for that day. OK, and actually, let's get that real quick. Second, second Peter three and verse um, 13. And it says, um, that nevertheless, we, according to his promise, Look for new heavens and a new earth where end dwelleth righteousness. You see? So we waiting on that, man. You know, we are waiting upon, we are waiting for Yahweh Shai to return to deliver us. So that way, you know, we can get these new bodies. You know, we can, you know, get the, uh, get the, uh, the, the, the law and the inward parts, you know, be perfect. You see? We waiting on all these things, you know? While people out here, you know, they're, you know, they're waiting on, you know, on, on, on vain things, on vanity, on things that don't matter. You see, because the scriptures say, you know, we, we I'll get it real quick. This is the book of uh, Saint Corinthians, chapter four, and verse. Uh, let's see, uh, eighteen. All right, actually, I'll start at sixteen. It says, "For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, meaning this flesh, right?" You know, this flesh is weak. 
you know, this flesh is a, uh, you know, the flesh that we have right now is, you know, is very, uh, how can I say, it's very, uh, it's not sustainable, you know. Like, of course, you, of course, you can keep it up. Of course, you can, you know, you know, we we have good diets. We try our best to, you know, uh, work out if we can. But ultimately, this flesh, you know, is is evil, man. And it's very vile, you know. And that's why it says Philippians that we're gonna receive, you know, glorious new bodies, just just like Yahweh Shai's body. All right. And it says, uh, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And what's that? The spirit. Right. Because we come to this truth, you know, and we, we become new creatures in Yahweh Shai. Right. Our minds change, you know, our diet change, you know, it's, just, it's a complete 180. Everything changes about us, but for the better. OK. And it says for our light affliction, which is both for a moment, work for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Right. This is a very light affliction. Now, hey, it's tough. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's tough. Right. But. Ultimately, it's something that we can handle, right? Because the Lord said that he's not going to put anything upon you that you can't handle. So ultimately, this is this is a light affliction, right? So we have to do our best, you know, and continue to endure. You know, and how do you do that? You know, the, you know, uh, faith, prayer, of course, fasting, you know. And it says, verse 18, here's the point. It says, why we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, Right? So while people out here are focused on, on, on vanity, you know, we focus on the kingdom, right? And it says, for the things which are temporal, excuse me, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are which are seen are eternal. You see? So the things that we can things that people worry about on this side, you know, the the the, the, the vain accomplishments, you know, though that's all vain. That's all gonna come to naught. You see, but we seek something that's eternal, something that we know is coming. All right. And that's why this lesson is titled Another Day Down, because we know that, you know, eternity is coming. You see, we, you know, we know that, you know, there's a more, you know, than uh, existence than living in Babylon. You know, people out here, they, they don't they, they can't see that the Lord's not dealing with them. That's why they set their their treasures upon this side, you know, where moth and rest do corrupt and where thieves can break through and steal. All right. So we so we don't. Look at the things which are seen, but but the things which are you know not seen, okay. All right, now this is the book of <clears throat> Second Edris. Excuse me. Second Edris nine and verse six. No, sloggy verse five. It says, "For like as all that is made in the world." had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, right, man? The end of Babylon's manifest. You know, the, the end is the end is the end is clear. You know, it's very clear and obvious that we're living in, you know, the uh the last lap of this this kingdom. All right. And you know, and and, and people know too, you know, deep down inside, people know, you know, but they don't want to admit it. You know, they want to keep, you know, living, you know, living out their lives. Excuse me, it says, um, let's see, I read it one more time. It says, for like this, all that is made in the world has beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, right? So we are living in very beautiful times, you know, to know that we're living in the end. You see, to know that we're living in a time where, you know, Esau, Edom is, you know, starting off with the, you know, the uh, the higher ups of the nation of Esau, the elites, to know that we're living in a time where this place is about to be no more. You know, this place is about to be a uh, a thing of the past, okay? And then real quick, uh, this is the book of, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter, uh, let's see, chapter 7, and what is it? Um, verse 8, and it says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, right? Because, you know, hey, man, you know, the establishment of Babylon you know, hey, guess what? We got fucked up. You know, we were in child slavery. You know, you know, you had segregation. You know, Esau, that that's when Esau was uh was really on top. You know, because Jake was you know on the bottom. You know, we 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 were basically you know pushed pushed it aside, man. All right, that that's when Esau was really you know tuned in, right? And it says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit, right? Because that's ultimately 
you know, uh, you, you know, you being patient, you know, we're suffering, you know, so we're being patient and being humble on the side of the Lord compared to being proud, you know, because pride go before destruction. All right. And so like, you know, I'm just, you know, going with spirit. I didn't, ha I didn't have any precepts written down. I just hit record, you know, so Lord as well, this lesson, like I said, is edifying to the, to the Lord's sheep. All right. <clears throat> There's Habakkuk 2 and uh, verse uh, 3 says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And what's the vision? The prophecies, right? Uh, you know, uh, you know, it, 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 another day down, you know, for, for prophecy to be fulfilled, for, for the kingdom to, uh, you know, you know, to be here. Okay. And it says, uh, but at the end, meaning what the, the end days, the last days, it shall speak and not lie, meaning that they're going to come to pass, meaning that the words of the Lord are going to be fulfilled, okay? The words that we speak through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shema Shai are, are, are going to come to pass whether you believe or not, okay? You, you can't get around the prophecy, all right? You can't get around what's meant to happen, right? And it says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, okay? Meaning what? Meaning it's, it, it's going to happen, right? So even though it may not happen on, on your time, just know it's happening, Okay, just know, just, even though you, 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 you may not see it every day, just know that the Lord Yahweh Bashmah Shah is doing things. Okay, because things because things are speeding up. Time is speeding up. You know, just like, you know, if it feel like yesterday it was just 2020, you know, but here it is, it's 2024, and, and we're in, in the month of March. Okay, by the time you know it, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a Passover coming up. You know, Passover is only a couple weeks away, you know, so things are speeding up, man. Guess what? For the elect's sake, you know, these days shall be shortened, okay? Because the elect, hey, the, the Lord is about to deliver his men, you know? Let's get that real quick. Just the book of Matthew, chapter 24. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see where I can start at. Let me see. Um... Let me see. I'll, I'll get to the point. Matthew 24 and verse 31, and it says, And then shall appear the sign, oh, excuse me, it says, And he shall send his angels with a great sign of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, so the Lord is going to deliver his men, all right, from, from wherever, you know, you know, they may be at, but, but mainly, you know, from here in Babylon. But this is where the deliver the the main deliverance and destruction is going to take place, right? But also too, you have brothers that may be scattered in other you know countries or lands, right? That's why he says from the four winds, okay. So the Lord is going to deliver His elect regardless, because the elect right now, you know, they're waiting on Yahweh Shai. You know, they want to see this place go, okay. They're glad that you know another day is down, so that way we can get to the kingdom. OK, these men right now, hey, man, they're signing crime, you know, about the wickedness that goes out here in Babylon, about the abominations. You know, they're vexed. We are vexed with the free conversation of the wicked, just like how Lot was vexed, you know. So we are waiting on a great deliverance. We are waiting on, you know, uh, perfection. We, we are waiting on the kingdom. But guess what? How I said the kingdom is, is, uh, is, is, is uh, within you. You know, it starts with us, right? So that's why you know, right now we're being purified. We're being, you know, uh, um, being uh, put through that, that uh, the the um, furnace of adversity, the spiritual baptism. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get this. This is the second address, chapter six. Okay, and I'll get to the point in verse nine. It says. For Esau is the end of the world, right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? And that's plain, man, you know? And and, and every day that every day that that, uh, that goes by, you know, that's a, you know, um, and, and another day down, you know, you know, for uh for Esau, you know, about to come to uh, his end, you know, another day down for uh, us getting close to the kingdom, you know, close to salvation, deliverance, you know, 
man, and man, call all y'all about Shamal Shai, man, because it's really about to happen, you know. But but before you know things happen, of course, you know we got to go through much tribulation, as it says in the book of Acts fourteen twenty two, you know. So so before, you know, we uh, you know, get to that sweet, we got to you know go through the bitter, you know, being persecuted, you know, being hated amongst all men, you know, and uh, yeah, man, you know. And I read it one more time, and it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So right after Esau falls, hey, you know, you know that's going to be the uh, the commencement of us ruling. You know, just like how Brightburn said, you know, take the kingdom. Excuse me, he said, take the world. You know, and, uh, and him saying that, it reminded me of the book of Daniel. Let's get it real quick. It's the book of Daniel 7. And verse 18, and it says, but the saints, who are the saints? The Israelites, all right, which today they're being called, you know, uh, so-called Negroes, right? African-Americans, right? Latinos, okay? Native and Seminole Indians. Those are barbers that, that have been put upon us by, you know, our oppressors, right? But that's part of the curses, you know, but that indicates who we are, right? And it says, but the saints, the Israelites of the Most High shall take the kingdom, and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Meaning what? Meaning that we're going to have eternal power, eternal rulership. Okay, we're never going to sin. We're never going to go off. We're never going to die. We're going to be immortal. Okay? So, so that's definitely, you know, worth the wait. You know, that that's definitely, you know, worth, you know, uh, waiting for. Okay? So, that being said, I just want to say, call on La Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Hakodash. Double honor is being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. And once again, I want to say, shall I want to you, I out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bashmal Shai, Bashrun Hakwadash, and Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was edified.